Morning everyone, it's the start of a new week and it's so lovely to share some thoughts around Psalm 3 today with you. Psalm 3 is one of my favorite psalms. It's the Psalm of David and I think I love it so much because David goes from utter desperation into deep sleep in this psalm. Um, he also really gives us a pattern that I think is quite useful when we are praying to God, especially in times of trouble. And in this psalm, he first of all tells God about his trouble, then he trusts God, and then he tells his trouble about his God. So quite a lovely pattern to follow for us. In verses 1 or 2, David pours out his heart to God and tells him the deep, deep trouble that he is in. And David sure is in some deep trouble in this psalm. His son Absalom is out to overthrow him as king and wants to ultimately ki kill him. So he's in life-threatening trouble um, during this psalm. But also, as you can imagine, he's in emotional trouble, or maybe you would call it relational trouble. Um, I can't imagine the devastation of, of your own child wanting to kill you. So you can, you can just think how painful that must be. But then he's also in spiritual trouble. The people are saying, according to the psalm, that uh, God would not save David. And they're saying that God has abandoned him. Um, we know from scripture that David, he did mess up. And now it seems like the people are saying God's favor is not on David anymore. And David could internalize this. He could question it. But we see in verse 3, such a beautiful verse, David chooses to trust God. And this is also a strategy that I've adopted at times when those insidious thoughts that I'm not good enough, I don't have what it takes, when they come my way, instead of disagreeing with them or rejecting them, I've actually chosen to agree with them because it's true. I don't have what it takes. I am not enough. That is why God had to send Jesus to stand in my place. He's the one that qualifies me. He's the one who is sufficient when I am lacking. And David takes the same posture here. He says, for you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory and the lifter of my head. And it's almost like as this thought sinks into David's heart, as he owns it, as it becomes part of him, he's able to go into a deep, deep sleep. And it says in verse 5 that he lies down and he sleeps. Despite all the trouble all around him, though tens of thousands, tens of thousand people rise up against him, he is at peace and he sleeps um, because God is enough for him. And he locates his confidence in God. So he tells God his troubles, then he trusts God, and then he tells his troubles about God. He says, victory belongs to the Lord. And he declares this and he reframes his whole situation in the light of who his God is. So I hope today that you could take something with you from this message that you would be able to tell God about your troubles, even though he knows what they are, that you would choose to trust him and then you would tell your troubles about the good God that you serve. Thank you.